Okay, welcome back. Shomenuchi Atemiwa is a variation four. Now, before I get started with this technique, there's this technique will be extremely applicable against somebody that has hair, okay? Especially if it's not cemented down with hair product. If you don't got a shit ton of gel in your hair to where your head becomes bulletproof like you're wearing a ballistic helmet, then this technique is gonna be the technique for you. If your head is shaved, there's other things that you can do to make this technique effective. This technique I'm basically showing to the point where you can grab the hair. It's very similar to the last one, but instead of the elbow strike, I'm grabbing on the hair, and obviously you will see Rod's facial expressions to see how realistic and practical and how effective that it really is. Hi. So switching positions again. So we're doing Sudiage to the outside of the Shomenuchi attack. So as this happens, deflect. Right away, your hand is there. You're grabbing the hair immediately. Immediately you're grabbing the hair. Grab the hair immediately. If you grab the top of the head, okay, it doesn't hurt as much as grabbing the side of the head and you pull the hair. You just don't grab the hair and go, uh huh? Hiya? Hiya? You grab and you pull the hair, okay? Then from there, you can switch and strike. But the idea is grabbing the hair, controlling the head. You can strike, okay? There's a lot of stuff you can do from this. Do we apply this and you're still grabbing? So I'm choking. You're moving into this choke application and apply. So a lot of things you can do. The idea with this one is the point of where it's grabbing the hair right there, throat punch right away. I'm also right in the center. So you throat punch them, hammer fist the mandible of the jaw, break the jaw. But you're controlling the head by his hair. If he does not have hair, you use the eye gouge to apply that. Then you can groin strike, move in, you can throw. Okay? Okay. So this one is, we're kind of kicking it up a notch or two with the Satami Waza. Now, <clears throat> this is extremely effective because obviously the hair is going to control the head. And in real world applications, you don't see a lot of hair pulling going on. Okay, because it's, from videos that I've seen with, you know, on YouTube with people actually getting in street fights, it's all about the knockout game how you can knock somebody out. But when you start tangling up with somebody, okay, even from a, a, a more realistic punch pullback scenario, you can grab the hair right away. Everybody's afraid to get hit, okay? And I understand that. Because a lot of people get knocked the fuck out off of one punch. That punch comes in, if you start to back up, another punch is gonna follow. Not a lot of people absorb the punch and move in from there and grab. Not a lot of people do that. That's where the hand deflections builds confidence. It builds your technique ability. Okay? The whole idea of evasions. Okay? It is so you can enter in. So you can eat me. If you're backing up from this and he punch pulls back, punch pull back, serious punch pull back. You know, here, this is going to be hard to do and then follow up strike. Now if you follow up and struck, you know, at that point, maybe I can still get it off this way and then move into that position, grab his hair from there, and do something. But you have to be extremely, extremely precise, and you have to be extremely efficient with the way how you move, and most of all, your technique has to be flawless. You have to be a master at being able to do this in a split second. Because the slightest mistake is gonna cost you a trip to the dentist or worse. So as he attacks, okay, Flex, grab the hair right away. Just grab the hair. Then from there, you do whatever you want. Okay? Get him to come back, switch the hand out, throw a punch. Right? Boom, throw a punch. Hammer fist to the mandible. And then execute the throw or takedown at that point to where you have this, to where you can hammer fist the ribs. Take control because he's going to start to curl his arm over. Take control of this right away. Hammer strike break that arm and be done with it. Now, like I said, this technique went to the extreme of what can be applied. Um, I like to follow the rule of thumb. If, I'm sure probably a lot of people of you, a lot of people have heard this 
I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six any day of the week. And if you don't understand what that means, is here in the United States, when you get arrested and you go up for trial, it's either a bench trial by judge or a jury trial by 12 of your peers. I'd rather be judged by 12 peers than when you die and you have pallbearers that are carrying your casket, it's usually six people that are carrying your dead body. So I'd rather be judged by 12 of my peers than carried by six of my friends to my final resting place. I will deal with the law consequences after the fact. And personally, that's my recommendation and my advice to all of you. Get out of there first and foremost safe, survive the assault, whatever. If it has to go to this extreme, these are the techniques that you could use amongst the other however many more videos that we're gonna make for this month, okay? These are the things that you wanna keep in mind. Don't ever let that stop you from, from applying technique. Oh, well the law, oh my God, you know, if I do this and I fuck this guy up, I'm going to jail. If it's justified, you're not going anywhere. That's the big thing. You might get arrested, because you might have fucked the guy up, but if it's justified, you're not going to prison. It's just not happening. Too many people out there think, oh, if you do this, you do that, you're gonna suffer consequences by going to prison. Well, first off, you've gotta prove that I did this maliciously. You have, to, you have to prove that I provoked it. If this is an unprovoked attack and you're defending yourself, now remember, I live off of the, the, the strict platform of life and death scenario. I don't live off of sport fighting. Okay, I don't live off of that mentality or that mindset. And any of you that do, okay, I'm sorry, I apologize, but the truth is gonna hurt, you're fucking idiots. There are no rules on the street, there are no referees, there's nothing. It's life and death. It might not be to the extreme of death, but you prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. End of story, period, that's it. Worry about the consequences later. First and foremost, survive so you can live another day. Because when you're dead, you don't get to wake up the next morning and start all over like it's fucking Groundhog Day. Okay? Hi, hey, one more. So, switch again. So, as that happens, the show Richie comes in, I grab the hair right away. It strikes the throat. You have this. Strike to the throat, strike to the mandible, the jaw. Apply whatever you want at that time. You can apply whatever you want. That's it. Shomenuchi Temiwaza, variation four. See you guys on the next video.